What's going on, everybody? Hopefully everyone can hear me. Hopefully you can hear me well. All right, I see some people in the chat room. This is my, my first time doing this, so you all forgive me uh, if it's not technically going right. In the chat room, can you all hear me? And no sound now. How about now? Excellent. All right, I got figured this thing out. This is going to be a very brief video. I am uh, <clears throat> I'm not uh, I'm I'm sort of coming out of retirement a little bit um, to respond to and address this. Uh, uh, I felt compelled to come out and address uh, a somewhat of a controversy. On one hand, I don't I didn't want to do this because the person who um, who is at the center of what I'm going to address, this person, uh, I've historically referred to him as he who shall not be named, but I'm going to have to name him now. His name is Seiko Woods. Uh, I believe this person to be to display narcissistic tendencies. So mentioning his name and making him the center of attention would, you know, of course, play right into what what he wants is this he's loving all this right now in my opinion uh but uh some of you may know that i made a video 10 years ago about seiko woods i warned the christian community about seiko woods and the christian community as well as the general public about seiko woods i had personal dealings with seiko woods um you know i've talked to him on the phone uh before um I have observed his his behavior. I'm aware of things that he's done to people, uh, how he's uh, carried on uh, campaigns of abuse on social media, how he's terrorized people. I've spoken to people, interacted with people who are afraid of him. I'm, I'm aware of how he's um, destroyed marriages. Um, I made a video about his behavior 10 years ago. And, um, Apparently, what is happening now is that several people are making videos about Seiko Woods, about his behavior, about the things that he teaches. And there's been like a, a flurry of them uh, within this past, um, I would say within the past few weeks and recent weeks. I don't know any of these people. I've not been on social media blogging since what, what 2012 at least, or somewhere around there. I've Quote, quote unquote semi-retired but there's a whole new crop of there are a whole new crop of people who are involved in i guess i guess some some form of ministry online and they're using social media uh and they've had interactions with seiko woods or they've observed him and they are now making their own videos uh so um i i don't want to hear him crying even though he's going to cry anyway but people are going in his minions there. He has people that follow behind him that, that believe every word that he says. I don't want to hear anybody crying about, I put these people up to make videos about him because I don't know, I don't know any of these people. And when I say, I don't know them, I don't know them. Cause I, you, you know, my, my world does not revolve around social media. I haven't been on, I, I, I started out a specific project in 2007 on YouTube, I did my thing. Uh, I had my time, and I I put it aside, and you know started you know and went on to other things in my life. And you know there are other people who, you know, I I recognize now, and I'm not patting myself on the back, but I was on the I was on the forefront. I was one of a handful of people who was using social media to call out preachers. Well, not call them out, but I guess you could say highlight, call out, educate people regarding, you know, false, dangerous teachings. You know, I was one of a handful of people using social media to challenge, uh, you know, uh, 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 things that were being taught in the church. That, you know, you, I received death threats for mentioning people's, the names of people's pastors. That's how crazy it was back in 2007. 
but you know, you know, times have changed, you know, and people, more and more people are doing, doing that thing. Now, some people are doing, a lot of people are doing it very responsibly and some people are, are not doing it so responsibly, but anyway, I want to get to the point here. I, I want to, I want to, I want to take, I want to talk about a, a couple of the recent videos that have been made. And the, the, the main point that I will make, and I'll just make the point now, uh, and this is the only thing, the main thing that I want people to get is that one point number one, I warned you all about Seiko Woods 10 years ago. And a lot of you people, some of you, I'm looking at your names in this chat room, but, but a lot of people didn't want to listen to me. Okay. That video has been up for 10 years, and I'm, I'm going to tell you over the last 10 years, as, as people have encountered Seiko Woods, they have engaged in some form of research by searching his name, looking up his name. They have found my video. They watched it, and then they emailed me. I've had conversations with people who have found my video and said, thank God for your video. This is what I've, I've experienced with him. Can you help me? Because I'm going through this with him. I've been suffering. I'm afraid of him. He's, he broke up my marriage. He's done this. He's done that. He's threatened me. He's uh, recorded my phone calls. He's doing all kinds of stuff that I have talked to people. Every year that has gone by, I can tell you at least three people from two, 2012, and this is now 2020, at least three people a year reach out to me in some way to say, I've had these encounters of Seiko Woods. I'm, I'm afraid of him. He's, he's I'm having these problems with him. Can you, can you help me? Who is this guy, right? And I've assisted quite a number of people. I've assisted people as recently as like over the last three months, you know, I've assisted two or three, uh, a couple of people, right? So that's one point I want to make. And the other main point that I want to make is that there are certain of you out there, and, and including people who have made these, these uh, in these response videos that, that I'm going to get to, you, you people need to stop coddling Seiko Woods. You're still coddling him. You're still, um, you know, Still not listening to what I told you. Like I said, I made this video 10 years ago. Some of you I have talked to personally or, or communicated with you personally. You're still coddling Seiko Woods. Some of you are hard headed. You're, you're, for some reason, you're caught up. In, I, don't, I don't know. You mesmerized by Seiko Woods for some reason and you refuse to, to, to receive any information or any evidence that I or, or any other people have provided. You still keep following behind him. And I'm saying to you, you know, those of you in the Christian community, those of you who are supposedly ministers or his peers, stop coddling Seiko Woods because you're just making things worse. Um, I want to try to pull up a couple of these videos. I'm, I'm, let me see if I can share my screen here. Um, I got to put my old man glasses on. Um, I want to share my, let me see if I can share my screen here. I'm going to share my screen so that, let's just do, let's do this tab here. Okay. All right. So hopefully you all can see this, um, this tab here. So let's talk about my video first that I created 10 years ago. So. Over the last 10 years, if you have done any type of uh, research on Seiko Woods, if you come in here and you just type his name, right? You type Seiko Woods, right? So this is his, you know, his little page here. These are some of the recent videos that have been done, which I'm going to talk about. But on that same page, you will see this video right here called Seiko Woods Investigated. You can see nine years ago, it was actually 10 years, 10 years ago. Profile of an abusive pastor, right? 
bring this up. Uh, my purpose for being here. Now, this is a video where at this point, in July 2012, at this point, I had had interactions with Seiko Woods going back probably two or three years. Uh, so I talked to him personally. Uh, so I had my own personal interactions with him. I had talked to people about Seiko Woods, right? And then at a certain point, there was a sister that reached out to me that was reported to me these things that Seiko Woods had been doing on social media to people how he'd been so abusive, how he'd been harassing people on social media, how he had um, harassed this particular couple. She shared with me some insights on his background in Houston. And this was at the time that he had this, uh, this house church. As a matter of fact, if you're looking, looking at this video now, this is me in Houston in front of his house. Now, a lot of people were upset. Saying, what are you doing going to his house? Well, this was the address that he provided on his ministry website for his home fellowship. So that's why I was there. Now, did I go up to his door? No, but you know, of course, was it for dramatic effect? Yeah, probably. But if he had come out, yeah, I would have talked to him, okay? But I went to Houston because I had the, the, a base set of information. I had talked to several people by phone the sister, starting with the sister, I had talked to her for several hours, and then she had gotten other people who trusted her to talk to me. I talked to these people, right? I did, and I have a journalistic background. I did a complete re investigative report on Seiko Woods, just like an investigative reporter would do. That's what I did. I talked to these people. I got records. I, had, I already had stuff, uh, emails and different interaction documented on Seiko Woods already from my dealings with him. I, uh, I document, I still have the notes on all this stuff that I did, right? So and the reason I'm going through this exercise is because I need people to understand Seiko Woods has been crying and saying that, that uh, I lied on him, I made up stuff on him, that I've, he's never been confronted about his behavior. There's no evidence, no proof of anything. I want you to need you to understand that that's all a lie. I did a very thorough investigation on Seiko Woods because I knew he was going to lie. I knew he was going to say that, that he, he's never done anything to anybody or he's never done these things that I, I was told. So I went through, I, I, I had talked to some of the, I got his whole background on Houston about how he, uh, in Houston, uh, in the Houston, Texas area, where he, um, uh, 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 where he had uh, been at the center of controversy and contention at pretty much every church he had been to, right? Um, I documented all of that stuff, and it, it's here in the notes of the of the video. This is like a summary of everything, right? There's comments on here. I even put my name on there, right? Because I'm not hiding. From nobody, I, I wanted wanted to make it clear I stood by and still stand by what I investigated and what I documented regarding Sacred Woods. So this video has been here, okay. Now, so you know, like people say, standing ten toes down. I'm standing ten toes down on what I said then, and and what it still says. I haven't changed anything on here, okay. So that video has been there. Uh, so let's go back. Uh, so I want to talk now about the recent videos that have been made. So I'm going to search here. I want to filter on, I want to filter on just this week, right? And so there are several videos that have been made. Now, the one that kind of, I want to say the most recent one that kind of, kind of set it off as it were, uh, there is a video, let me see if I can find it, that was done by a Michael, let me take this filter off, let me say this month. There's a video done, yeah, this one right here. Let's talk about this one. This video, this, this is the video that kind of set it off, right? So this video called, what, Echoes and Sound Bites, Biblical Rebuke of Sacred Woods. I do not know this brother. All right, all right, Michael Williams, I don't know him. But I was made aware that he was making this video. I was made aware uh, uh, ahead of time by 
a couple of people that do know him that he was making this video review. Okay. So I knew about this before it came out. And I was like, hmm, very interesting. Let's see what happens. All right. So this video was made, sent some shockwaves. Okay. Uh, and then, you know, I, I did some more uh, kind of looking around, and I noticed that quite a few people made some videos. I see that this brother, uh, uh, Eric Smith, I've never met him. He made a video about uh, Saker Woods' behavior. This guy, G220, I don't know who this is. Uh, there's somebody named some, something dad. What's that guy's name? Um, I think it, uh, let me see. I'm going to find him in just a second. Yeah, this bottom line dad, this guy. He made a video regarding Seiko, Seiko Woods' behavior. So in the, in the, in the recent days, uh, quite a few people have made videos about Seiko Woods saying the same thing. Right? So everybody with me so far? <clears throat> All right. So now, hello, everyone. Good to see a lot of you all back here. Now, what I want to talk about now is, because this gets to the coddling issue, all right, is uh, apparently um, recently, as I want to say yesterday, day before yesterday, or at some point uh, in the last few days, there was a, a, a panel, I'll say a panel of brothers, right, which I'm going to show you this in a second. Apparently, this group of brothers that know Seiko Woods, they had a little panel, online panel, discussion meeting. Uh, Seiko Woods is on there and there's about five or six other brothers on there where they are, I guess, going through this exercise of confronting Seiko Woods in love and, uh, you know, um, and, and I'll say that three of the brothers on the panel, I know, uh, uh, I've talked to them, I've interacted with them, and I've talked to them, these brothers, about Seiko Woods' behavior over the years. So, and, 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 and this, is, this is gonna stay, and this is just my perception, and I could be wrong, in a couple of cases I'm not wrong, but in my opinion, these three brothers that I know have either been indifferent about what I've said about, about Seiko Woods to them, uh, either been, been indifferent or, or, or they, they've turned themselves against me because of what I said about Seiko Woods. And now all of a sudden, you know, I see them on this panel, uh, this accountability panel, I guess, on, on, on this video. And I, I kind of just like, hmm, I, I found, find it curious. Um, because I, they didn't really call him out as, as he should have been called out. He, he was allowed to do the same thing he always does. It's the tap dance, you know, um, uh, shift the issue. And, and, and uh, so I want to see if I can uh, share that video uh, with you, the one that I'm talking about. Let's see if we can grab it here. Um, so... If you search, is this video by, um, it's on this, well, this is the thumbnail that I'm referring to. But the, oh, yeah, here it is. It's, I'm sorry. It's uh, here on this video entitled Brothers Addressing Seiko Woods. And it's on the Smart Christian channel. And I'm also aware that it's also on Seiko Woods' channel, which he calls the Book Chapter Verse Podcast. So let's, because I don't want to give him no shine. <laughs> I'm going to go to a uh, smart Christian channel. So, so I've popped one out. Uh, on, I'll take one. We get rid of these. You don't need any here. water on the agony. So I'm going to mute this because so it kind of starts off with Seiko talking. Let me speed up here, and then it kind of begins with this brother. Now I want to talk about this brother for a minute. Uh, so this is Sean Isaac. All right. Now, this is one of the brothers that, you know, that I know. And I've never met him 
personally, but you know, we've interacted over the years. I, I've interacted on Facebook. You know, I, I consider him a, a, a generally all around good brother. This is one of those good model Christian brothers. And I want to take, take a moment to, um, because I haven't spoken to him since the passing of his wife, but I wanted to, um, to, you know, extend my condolences and, and acknowledge the memory of, of his lovely wife, who I know he loved um, and cared for deeply and, and she passed on. And so I wanted to take a moment to acknowledge that, but I considered, um, you know, Sean, Sean Isaacs to be a good brother. But I, I but uh, well, I'll get to that in a moment. But he starts off, um, you know, he kind of gives some general observations, and he's kind of like the, I guess, the the anchor <laughs> of the uh, this whole podcast thing. But anyway, what you see here, this is that sort of the, the, this accountability panel of these brothers on here that supposedly. Uh, and, and this was held in private. And uh, so what you're seeing here is, uh, I guess, Sean or whoever was responsible for, for producing this. He, he makes these kind of like uh, these opening comments and then he just shows a little snippet of this panel. And then he comes back, uh, you know, a couple of minutes later to make the point that this was done in private. Right. But let me go back here for just a second, okay? So I want to talk about the people that I know and have interacted with on here, okay? So of course, Stako Woods. I I've, I know, know when I say I know Stako Woods, that means I've I've spoken with him a number of times, interacted with him, got his phone number in my phone. I, I can call him right now if I want to, right? Uh, I do not know Corey Miner. I do not know who this puny giant guy is. I do not know Tarim McGrew, but I do know Sean Isaacs. I definitely know Zeris Reimer, Reimer, who is in the chat room right now, if, if I'm not mistaken. And I definitely know Scott Newman, okay? Um, so, and I know I have communicated with all of these brothers regarding Seiko's with this behavior over the years, right? So, you know, what I want to say to these brothers, um, you know, is, is, is uh, you know, again, you all can keep, you know, trying to do this, you know, brotherly Christian love, you know, uh, tap dance with, with Seiko Woods if you want to, right? And I, I just want to tell you that I've done that with Seiko. Lots of people have done that with Seiko for at least 10 years. And you all keep doing this dance with Seiko Woods. The man has not changed in at least 10 years. He, 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 he's never acted like he wanted to change. He's not going to change. I don't care how many of these accountability panels you do. I don't care how much Matthew 18 steps, Matthew 18 steps that you take because I've already done that, right? Lots of people have. The man, in my opinion, displays the characteristics of a narcissist and, and even a sociopath. I consider him dangerous. You all keep doing these things to, to mentioning his name, making him the center of attention. All you're doing is, is making things worse. This is, this is the, I'm seeing all these videos that are being made about him. This man is loving this stuff. Now you're gonna say, well, Kevin, you're making a video too. Well, yeah, I am. I know I'm adding to the to the frenzy and to the folly. But 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 again, I felt it was important to address this to the larger community, uh, as opposed to I felt I felt that the benefits of that outweighed, you know, um, you know, um, playing into his his. Uh, into his uh, into his sickness, but but in any event, um, so I, I kind of just wanted to share my share my thoughts on that. And again, the, the major thing is you, you brothers who claim to be strong in the faith, uh, you know, stop coddling Seiko, stop babying him, stop putting up with his foolishness, stop believing these lies that he's telling. You know, stop with the. I know it's going to sound crazy, but stop, stop with these, with the biblical steps, 
right? Because it's already been done. You all are just doing exercises for, for stuff that, that's already been done and it's, and it's not, he's not going to respond to. This is theater for him. He's, he's using you all, manipulating you all, all of us really. So the, the best thing to do is to stop talking about this guy, stop supporting him, and just cut him off. And, um, you know, and I'll say one good thing that's happened is that some people, a lot, a lot more people have come out and taking a stand against him and documenting, you know, their interactions with him. So instead of, you know, just being one video that has been out there for 10 years, at least some other people have been courageous enough to step forward and say, hey, I don't know about anybody else, but this is my dealings with Sacred Woods. This is my observations of him. This is, you know, I felt compelled to do it for these reasons. And I'm not doing it out of spite or anger. I'm doing it to con confront him in a biblical Christ-like manner. And, but also to document so that if anybody else comes across him, they'll, they'll be warned and they'll know to stay away from it and, and, you know, not to give him any personal information about themselves, you know, not to, you know, involve their, get their family or their marriage, uh, get him mixed up in any of that because there will be consequences. So anyway, so that's really all I wanted to take time to, um, to address. Um, so, you know, if anybody got a problem with what I said or you want to talk about what I said, you got my number. You know how to get in touch with me. And I'm going to leave it at that. Um, Seiko Woods is probably going to cry and I don't care. Um, so, um, again, this is so this serves as an, another warning to people about this guy, Seiko Woods. He's dangerous. He should be avoided. Do not support him. Uh, avoid mentioning his name if you can. Uh, just, just leave the guy alone and don't support anything that he does. And, you know, if you get yourself um, involved with him somehow, ignore him. If he keeps bothering you, if there's a legal means that, that you can take, um, because I know some people who have, who have had to take some legal action against him. Um, do whatever necessary, whatever is necessary to, to hold him accountable and to protect yourself and, and your family. Um, that's all I have to say right now. Uh, so everybody be blessed. Good to, to hear from some of you and see some of you out there. And uh, I don't know, I, I might, might have to come out of retirement. <laughs> uh again let's see we'll we'll see anyway y'all take care god bless